Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode. Today I'll be installing a dishwasher. Uh, my brother-in-law got a new dishwasher, so he called me up to see if I could help him install it. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's jump into it and see if we can get this thing installed for him. All right. Alright guys, here we have our dishwasher that we're going to be replacing. First, we're going to start off by checking under the sink, opening the cabinets and clearing out all the stuff that we have underneath. We're going to disconnect the drain from the dishwasher that's connected to the garbage disposal. Then we're going to loose, we're going to tighten the valve for the dishwasher fill. Next, we can go ahead and loosen the dishwasher fill hose. guys so now we're going to open the dishwasher to, revo to reveal the two screws that are holding it to the countertop here and here let's try and slide the dish the dishwasher out as you can see it comes out pretty easily I'm gonna take my time and slide it out slowly because I still think the power is connected in the back All right, now we can go ahead and disconnect the power from behind the dishwasher. Now we can remove the two cables, one for the garbage disposal drain hose and one for the fill hose. All right, let's go ahead and unbox the dishwasher. We're gonna make an incision on the bottom of it. Now we should be able to lift up on the cardboard box and reveal the dishwasher. All right, let's go ahead and bring this dishwasher inside and um, start the process of reinstalling it. All right, first I'm gonna open the dishwasher to check out the components that are inside and see what we got in here because we're going to have to move some cables from the old dishwasher and, and attach it to the new dishwasher so we have all these foam pieces we can pretty much go ahead and take them all off set them aside if you got some cleaner for the dishwasher and set that aside We got our hose. This is the drain hose, which we're gonna reuse, or we're gonna use, and probably, I don't think we have enough, so we're, we'll see once we get to that step. This is, I don't know what this is, let's see. Oh, this is probably the handle for the dishwasher. Yep, sure enough, it's the handle for the dishwasher. We'll put that on last. We have the manual, some hose clamps, and we have the clips to secure the dishwasher to the countertop. All right. With all that cleared out, we're pretty much ready to fit this thing together. In time being, I'm gonna remove this and set it aside.
first thing we're going to do is we're going to have to move the power cable over to this one from the old one. So let's jump into the disconnection of the power. In order to remove the power cable, we're going to have to open this disconnect box. But first, we have to remove two screws on the front of the dishwasher. There's one located here and there's one located here. There we go. Now we have access to the disconnect box. Looks like there's a screw holding it here on this side. All right, let's go ahead and remove this screw, uh, keeping the disconnect box closed. Let's take the wires out and disconnect them all. And now we should be able to just remove the cable. We also need to disconnect the fill line. It's connected here. It doesn't look like our new garbage, our new dishwasher brings this as well. So let's go ahead and remove that. Once we remove the fill line and the power, we're pretty much ready to connect everything to the new dishwasher. A lot of times dishwashers don't come with these so you have to reuse them from the old ones. So just remember, if you guys are throwing out your dishwasher, remove these first and save them or you're going to have to repurchase them from your local hardware store. The next thing, once we have our new dishwasher flipped over on the back, we're going to have to reconnect the hoses and the power that we took from the old dishwasher. Here we have the first connection point which is where we're going to connect our um, dishwasher fill line and here is where we have the power that's going to come from our old cord um, to this disconnect box here. Let's start by removing the disconnect box. There we go. And then we have the connections inside here. What we'll do is we're going to pass the old power cord through and use the fastening nut to secure it in place. Here you can see the old cord and what we're going to do is we're going to see if we can push the cable through this opening to here and we'll secure it with the ring. And there we go. And now we got to make our connections. We have two connections here. One is the black, which is the hot. This is the neutral. And we have a ground screw on the back here, which will connect ours to here. And we remember we removed this one was to the neutral. This one was to black and this one was to ground. We'll connect the grounding screw right here. All our cables are connected tight and snug. We can go ahead and put the cover back on. Okay, that takes care of the power. Now it's time to connect the water line. snug and then I just turn it a quarter turn and that should be good. Um, one of the things we need to check on uh, when we start this up is to make sure there's no leaks. A lot of times when we install the dishwashers it will start leaking from here because it's not tightened enough but we'll check that and make sure there are no leaks before we put the front cover back on. Next we're going to connect the drain hose by inserting the one side of the drain hose into the receiver here 
push it in until it's tight. It goes all the way in. Once it's in, we can tighten the clamp around it. That's it. And now we just have to route all our cables to the back of the dishwasher, stand it up and slide it back into the opening. We have two legs on the front of the dishwasher. What, we'll, what I like to do is adjust them to about three quarters inch out. You can see here the gap is about three quarter inch. I'll do the same thing on the opposite side. You can see it here as well. That way, we'll, this, is, this is what they use to level dish, the dishwasher. In the back we have, on this one we have two rollers, but on some models, as you can see here, but on some models we actually have legs similar to the ones in the front. Once these legs are adjusted, we can flip the dishwasher back up and let's slide it back into place and we can check the level. Okay guys, now we, once we slide the dishwasher back in place, we now need to insert the retaining clips that's going to be used to secure the dishwasher to the countertop. We insert the tabs into the slots in the dishwasher, make sure that the tabs are pointing to the right on both sides. And then we're going to use a pair of pliers and bend the tabs up. Once the dishwasher is in place, we can attach the screws to the underside of the countertop. Now we can install the handle on the dishwasher. Slide it onto place on the two knobs. There are two Allen keys, Allen screws, located under here and here. With the including Allen wrench set, or the including Allen wrench, I should say, you can go ahead and tighten these screws. All right, it's all tight and snug. And now the handle is in place. Perfect. Tighten this up snug. Next we'll be connecting the um, drain to the garbage disposal. The installation should be complete. We can turn on our dishwasher and check to make sure everything is working. Uh, check for any leaks and that's it. Hey guys, welcome back. We got the dishwasher installed and it's running without a problem. Draining okay and the dishes are coming out nice and clean. Um, I guess some of the tips and tricks for installing a dishwasher that you guys need to remember. Um, don't throw away your power cord or the um, fill hose for your dishwasher. A lot of times they don't want to, they want to charge you extra and sell you extra cables. But if you're smart about it and you have an existing dishwasher, keep those cables guys. You're going to have to reuse them and it's going to save you 50 or 60 bucks depending on where you buy it from. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed the video. and. Hope to see you guys next time.